Hi friends, <coughs> welcome to my channel. So uh, this video uh, is about uh, like uh, basic building blocks of creating a use case, uh, security use case uh, for enterprise security. So uh, this video will be helpful for for them who uh, is new to uh, Splunk security uh, essential and uh, like uh, who is keen to learn about uh, how uh, from where we, we can start the use case or security uh, uh, from where we can learn the security uh, by Splunk so this video will will uh, explain you uh, a very basic uh, basic understanding of uh, uh, Splunk security uh, essential so Splunk security essential is a, a free app which is provided by Splunk and and uh, if you follow follow that app uh, you can easily build uh, your use case in uh, enterprise security Splunk enterprise security so uh, I got many uh, requests from viewers that uh, uh, from where we can start the uh, we can start creating uh, security use case so and how can we learn step by step uh, to create a security use case so this is the video guys so uh, stay tuned with me uh, till the end so this will uh, give you very good insight uh, about the security essential app so what we have to do is first you install uh, your enterprise uh, splunk core splunk on any of uh, your personal or, or cloud instance then once you have you got installed as as i have already installed in my laptop so once you install it go to app apps and uh, go to browse more apps search so i go to browse here essential enter so you have it essential and you and here you can see a splunk security essential so it will uh, <clears throat> why it is showing open uh, app because i have already installed in my laptop so uh, for for whom it uh, the security essential app is not installed it will say install so you just click on that and it will ask for user uh, user password and uh, user id and password and once you do that it will install it will ask for restart splunk so i have already installed in my uh, laptop uh, my uh, my splunk enterprise so uh, once you go uh, in app section you can see it in splunk essential app so please do not get confused with splunk security uh, enterprise security and splunk security essential so enterprise security is a, a premium premium solution uh, where you have you can create a use case uh, and and, <clears throat> and uh, perform an actual security security threat hunting over there and and create a use case and everything but here uh, splunk sec security essential will provide you how can you build your use cases so there are means it's a kind of a uh, uh, guide uh, it gives a guideline where where you can create your own use case or or security related use cases so click over the application so it's very simple and, and easy to uh, use application by default it has some demo data as well so whenever you uh, will log in it will land to the basic page the very basic phase so it has uh, multiple things uh, find content learn help deploy measure so it generally follows uh, <coughs> miter attack framework so so before uh, going to this uh, uh, the security essential one should know about the splunk that the basic prerequisite should know about the splunk should know about the enterprise security uh, and and should know about uh, uh, the security fundamentals like uh, what all kind of or, or, or miter about the miter attack like which all tactics and techniques are there uh, for the security so before that just have a look on on that otherwise uh, 
this uh, at, at this tutorial also will help you so once you land to this page you can uh, it's very simple to use uh, so if you want to find a content so you if you go here it will show you uh, from where to uh, go where so if you security detection basics advanced security uh, and then and so on so it will provide you if if you want to learn about security detection so it will give you detail about security detection and uh, and so on so just just follow this and and be uh, like uh, uh, like I, I i i say it uh, don't 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 go and and and, and uh, like say click and click here and there and then because it has a uh, many things which uh, which you won't be able to enter connect so to to get overwhelmed i i request to go step by step so first you should go about uh, learn learn splunk learn security learn security data uh, sorry security learn about the security journey learn about the onboarding guide so uh, first first if you are new to that then uh, go with this sequence and then you can go to another sequence so you have multiple sequences as well so measure how can you measure uh, uh, the things and help how, how can you uh, deploy the things over here in the environment and uh, multiple things so also you have multiple uh, options over there so you can uh, explore it uh, if you uh, you do not means you, you do not wait uh, do not want to wait uh, me to create videos so so you can explore by your own here uh, like if you want to learn about this uh, uh, one of the things uh, security journey so click over security journey it will uh, land you to security journey how the security journey works so it has a collection normalization expansion enrichment automation uh, and orchestration advanced detection so i will create a video in detail about this these uh, all the all the tabs and functionality of it and how can you use it so this is very basic video about how can you install and and use uh, your uh, security content uh, security essential app so uh, who let me give you some more insight of it how can you this is very basic how can you start uh, your journey of security use case one of the security use case so click over here and and like say it will provide you the stage one uh, <coughs> security use case so here 13 use cases are there where uh, on, on very very first it says, says uh, basic brute force detection so brute force is nothing but anybody wants to it is written or uses a simple uh, threshold window security alert uh, are large number of uh, login failed and at least a successful login from the source so this is about uh, where you can start your security use case so here this will give you uh, basic understanding how can you start and how <laughs> this is uh, uh, attached to my miter tactics and techniques and uh, data so which data source you want it has already dummy data so uh, security essential app has already dummy data and if this uh, essential app if you you install in your production environment so it will look for uh, you just click over here it will look for your live data as well and accordingly it will say whether your data is good or bad so data availability currently it's showing uh, for live bad and for for demo data is also it is showing the bad so it will show you the the details other details use case categories which category it belongs to security impact it will give you detail about the security impact alert low and 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 the spl the search language which you want to create is basic so also it will provide you more details uh, 
like SPL, what SPL you need. So this data is coming from uh, demo data uh, uh, and, and instead of this, just you want to give your uh, index and source type and few other data okay, in the live environment. So once so you go here, it will give you each and every detail what exactly it is and, and explain about the things what you uh, want to do like say here it is saying it is bringing a demo data now it will it is uh, creating a bucket of one hour now next what he, you, you have to do is you need to find a uh, failure attempts means, means uh, for success success count you need to get the success count and failure you need to get the failure count by, by source and time now if uh, failure count is greater than one and uh, sorry success count is greater than one and failure count so so it, it is giving a, a final uh, calculation so this is how you will get the details about it and and below you can see how uh, means how the user failure attempt is happening so this is about it and then it will provide you the percentage about the failure as well so here how how you you uh, want to uh, do the use uh, how you want to create a use case so this is they have given the all insight of of it and it will provide you uh, how to implement so this is where you and you can implement your use case so this is basic basic query they have provide and 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 you uh, you have to find with what exactly you want from from this like if you want in in in, in an r if uh, mul uh, number of failure count is increased so you can create an alert if the percentage of uh, uh, failure uh with uh, uh, on on success is greater than some specific percentage then you can create an alert and and so on so, and if you found, find any outlier then you cre create an alert so it's depend on you how your uh, your organization want to uh, create an alert or your uh, customer want to create an alert with respect to security that so this is uh, i think basics about uh, the security essential so this will uh, just give you brief about uh, your your thing maybe maybe that the data is not exact and 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 you may want to uh, do some um, dumb, some changes or modification in the uh, search as well as per your uh, requirement so this is the basics about about the security essential now if if you want to go and check you want to explore uh, different different options so you can go and and have a look on that so i think this is a very simple and basic and uh, basic things uh, so uh, you can create a, a simple use cases with respect to that so if anybody is looking for this video uh, so have a look and explore security essential uh, essential app and you can create your own use cases so all the best with uh, your first use case or security use cases if you have already creating this will give you very good uh, uh, very good path where we can where we can we can use uh, uh, you, you can uh, add on to your additional ad, uh, your existing security use cases so thanks for watching the video and uh, all the best for your security use cases thank you